Could a video game end ADHD? The answer is yes. And today, I'm going to tell you how we might get there. Let's start with some background. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It affects about 10% of all children and 5% of adults. And it actually is defined as the presence of inattention, impulsivity, and hyperactivity. So if we're going to end ADHD, what we really need to do is improve your ability to pay attention, improve your impulse control, and improve your ability to keep calm and relaxed. And the question becomes, how do we improve these skills? And the answer is simple. We improve these skills the same way we improve any other skill, through practice. So how do we practice paying attention? How do we practice controlling our impulses? And how do we practice keeping calm and relaxed? That's where video games come in. So let's start with attention. If I'm going to practice and improve my ability to pay attention, well, first I need to know when I'm paying attention. That's not always intuitive on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, especially for children. But with an EEG headset, I can actually measure your brain activity, and I can see when you're focused and when you're distracted. And I can feed that information into a video game so that if you're focused and you're paying attention, this meter will fill up and your green dragon will fly faster and faster. And if you lose focus and if you get distracted, the dragon will slow down and you'll lose. Through this mechanism, kids can practice paying attention and improve in a fun and engaging way. So paying attention is a start, but kids with ADHD also suffer from impulsivity, engaging in behavior that seems rewarding but is not in our long-term best interests. So how do we practice impulse control? We can't very well put a bunch of temptations in front of a child and tell them to sit still and practice resisting, but we can do just that in a video game. In this game, you get to do something really cool. You get to tap the screen, breathe fire, and destroy these monsters that fly at you, which is a lot of fun. But the game gives you a set of instructions saying only certain kinds of monsters can be destroyed. And others, like this green one, have to be ignored. You have to control your impulse to tap the screen and breathe fire and, and blow up all these monsters. And you have to do that over and over and over again, controlling all those impulses. And by practicing that impulse control over and over again, you actually rewire your brain. And you're able to improve your impulse control in your daily life. Finally, we have hyperactivity, which is present in some, but not all, cases of ADHD. How do we practice keeping calm and relaxed? Well, that same headset that's used to measure your brain activity can also measure your body movement and your muscle tension. And again, can feed that information into a video game so that the more calm I am, the more relaxed and still I sit, the better I do in the game. And if I tense up, or if I move around too much, then I lose points, I'm penalized. So through these three game mechanics, kids can practice paying attention, practice controlling their impulses, and practice keeping calm in a way that's fun and engaging, and improve as a result. Now, this all sounds good, but you might be wondering, does it actually work? And happy to say, that the results are in, and the answer seems to be that yes, it does. And we know this because we conducted a randomized, controlled clinical study with a researcher at Duke University. And in that study, what we did is we took 60 children with ADHD, and we randomized them into two groups. One group used a video game intervention, like you just saw, for 10 weeks, three times a week, 30 minutes each session. The other group of kids continued their normal ADHD treatments. In most cases, that was medications like Adderall and Ritalin. In some cases, it was therapy. And at the end of the 10 weeks, we looked at their improvements on a variety of ADHD assessments. We looked at how parents said their children performed at school and at home on a variety of rating scales. And we looked objectively at children's performance on tasks 
designed to measure their ability to pay attention and have self-control. The results from this study were staggering. We found that kids using the video game intervention improved almost four times as much as kids using traditional treatments. And in many cases, after only 10 weeks, kids using the video game no longer met the symptom criteria for ADHD. This technology is available today, and this is just the beginning. There's more research to be done, but we've unlocked a powerful tool for improving ADHD symptoms in children. And this doesn't stop at ADHD. This technology has applications for training a wide range of cognitive abilities, and we may all soon be using video games to train our brain. So today I've told you about how kids were able to use video games and the concept of practice to improve their ADHD symptoms. And I think what's really amazing is these kids were able to change something about themselves that they thought was unchangeable, that they were told was fixed. And while the technology surely helped, it was these kids' own efforts that led to these improvements. So what about you all? I'm sure that your whole life, you've been told or you've been led to believe that certain aspects of your brain or your personality are fixed, that that's just who you are. Our research shows that that's just not the case, that with the right amount of practice, the right amount of effort, and maybe even the help of a video game, you could do what these kids did. You could change. Thank you. Thank you.